So in this video what we're now going to look at is um, completing a scan and running through the auto registration process. So I'm in my um, Timber Perspective project here. I'm all connected uh, to the scanner. What we're going to do here is a pan up and select the scan time. We're going to go for a two minute scan standard. We're going to turn the images on, HDR off and leave the white balance on. So all I'm going to do is hit the start scan button. So you can press the button on triple perspective or you're able to do a quick press on the side of the X7 and it will start the same process. What will happen first and foremost is the scanner will go around and do its initialization. So all it's doing here is running the calibration and it will run that before every scan. Usually takes around 30-40 seconds. The first time is usually longer um, and if the, the, the environment you're in stays the same throughout then the initialization time gets a bit quicker. Once it's completed initialising, it will then move on to start its scanning procedure. On the X7 at this time, there'll be the lights will be flashing blue and that's just to indicate that the scanner's working. So obviously it's important not to move it at this point. Once the scanning process is complete, if you've selected images, the scanner will then go on to start completing um, its images. The colour on the scanner now changed from a flashing blue to a flashing white. Whilst the scanner is taking the images, you'll notice the notifications start to pop up, just to inform you that it's actually downloading the scan. So what will happen is the, the scanner um, will work um, independent of perspective, so you're able to work in perspective while the scanner is actually completing its processes. It will first bring in a scan, and then what it will do is it will use an auto orientation, just finding a a longitudinal feature in the project, um, in the scan, and then orientate the scan uh, along with that feature. So if we pop into notifications here, we'll see what's going on. We've got the scan downloaded and the auto orientation is complete. And at the moment, we're just finishing off our images. And once they're complete, the scanner um, will then push that data through via the Wi-Fi link to perspective. Once the scanner's completed um, the images, you'll hear a beep on the scanner and the lights will change to a solid green. That's, that means the process is complete and the scanner can be moved to a, a new location. So all we're going to do is move the scanner and then again we're just going to start scanning our new position. And it'll run through the same process again, doing initialization, move on to the scanning and then recording the images. Meanwhile, if we go over to our stations tab here, we can see we have now have one station in here. We can go in and we can view the details, it will give us some information about that station. Seeing not registered at the moment, once we bring in our second scan, it will then register from one scan 1 to scan 2. We can change this by um, changing the register too, so at the moment it's just set to last. If we have multiple scans in here, we want to register to a different station just to link that together, we can change it in here. Once scan 2 is complete, it will then start downloading the data and again the scanner will continue capturing the images. It will then load the points into the project. You can see scan 2 appear here. And what you might notice that usually is that the orientation is correct. It's at the correct rotation and it will also be in the correct height, but it, sh it will be out of position. So the IMU is responsible for keeping it at the correct orientation. It will start to auto-register as instructed between 1 and 2 and when complete you'll see 2 then shift into 1. And what we get here is we get this um, link that's created. We get this pairwise link between 1 and 2 and what we want to do is continue to go on forming links between our stations. Once we have that we have a complete registration set and we can then refine that registration set before we export. So I've now moved on to another scan location and what I've done this time is I've asked it just to register it to scan number one and I've positioned it um, in a room with very limited overlap uh, from previous scans so I'm just trying to mimic what would happen if the auto registration were to fail and show you how you can um, adjust and try and fix the registration. 
Okay, so in this instance, we have a check registration. So it's, it's managed to use some of the overlap to process the data. However, it's not completely happy with it. As you can see, it's found a bit of an error. There's not a lot of overlap, so it's asking you to have a look at it. If the registration were to fail, it'd be red. And it would say re uh, registration failed. And you'd also have the option here, rest to manual registration. So if I just tap manual registration here, I'll see here that I have uh, scan number four now and two and one are linked together and scan number four and um, we have here in blue so what you can actually do is if, if the mistake was in fact well you know we didn't actually want to register it to number four we want to register it to one we can change it here to number two and we can hit register if we if for instance the scan was out of position rather than just changing it from four to two uh, from to register between scan 4 and 2, what we can do is we can select on a point and we can move it around the room and then we can select the circle here just to rotate it into position. And if we can find enough sufficient overlap, we can just use that just to visually put it into position. Once we have it roughly in position, it's just a case of selecting register and asking it to rerun the registration algorithm. Again, here we have a check registration. What we'll do is I'll show you the one of the other methods here we can use as well. We can use a split view. So basically what we're doing is we're viewing the scan from station four. You'll see here actually on station two that this door was shut for the room that I'm in at the moment. And basically I've put in a cupboard and left a very, very small gap so you can understand how it may struggle with registration. But what I can do is I can actually try and pick out a couple of common points from each scan. Go in there. That there. Just roughly. Pick one there in the corner of the switch. Corner of the switch too. And then again, I can select register and run the registration. And again, we'll see. Um, check registration. Our error here is quite small and we don't have a lot of overlap so usually in this situation what you may want to do is you would infill. So in this situation you could add in another scan in the doorway here and then register that one to two and then register four to your other scan just to build it up. Alternatively you can leave it at check registration and when you run the refinement it should be able to um, it should be able to uh, solve any small alignments and remove any of those small errors. If you're happy with the way the registration has worked, in order to use the refinement it needs to be linked. So if it was automatically registered itself, it would create the link. But you, it, didn't, um, it didn't complete auto-registration, so what we're going to do is just add create a link here. If I hit close, that's a point cloud registered. So once that registration is complete, or you're complete with your site and you're happy everything's been paired together, what you would then progress to do next is you'd move on to do your refinement and your export.